Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We know the Premier has clearly rejected a call from United Opposition and other groups such as AUPE for a public inquiry into the deaths of Albertan children in this government's care. Interestingly, the Council of the Federation meeting on July 24th, the Premier joined every other Premier in the country in backing the Native Women's Association of Canada's request for a national public inquiry into the case of missing or murdered Aboriginal women. A very good thing to the Premier. Why do you feel that the families of the 145 children who died in care, most of them First Nations, are less... Honourable Premier, someone on behalf of... Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The difference would be that nobody is looking into the deaths of those women. Uh, there may be criminal investigations happening, but there's no concerted effort. In Alberta, with respect to the child welfare system, there is not only a concerted effort to look into the death of each child and learn from it, but as the opposition and the newspaper have said, there's three or four different groups that have a challenge to do it, looking from different perspectives to make sure, in my view, that, the, that, that what we're looking at is done very thoroughly. Mr. Speaker, my grandpa told me there's three things in the world you can't hide. The sun, the moon, and the truth. And the truth has come out. The fact that 145 children died in this government's care, 78 percent of them are First Nations heritage. The truth is the death rate is three times that of the regular population. These children deserve nothing but the best. And the truth is, Mr. Speaker, they're still dying today. They're on their website. They're still dying in care, on the website. To the Premier, will you please put your political self-interest aside and do the right thing? Let's just call an independent inquiry. Let's all fix this. Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, the most disgusting thing that would happen would be if this was to be made a that political is uh, interest. This oh, is about God. children. This is about making sure that we do the best we can for children. All of us are parents. All of us care about children, whether we're parents or not. Some of us are grandparents. We care about the children. We want to do what's in the best interest of the children, and that is what we will do. We'll do it with all of those in this province who want to work with us to make the system better. And we will take critique. We will use that critique to improve the process. But let's not turn this into a political window. Honourable Member. Mr. Speaker, I'll tell you what cheeses me off more than anything. When children are getting hurt, and this government knows they're getting hurt, Minister, you've been a minister for many years in this government, yeah. and now you're the minister who loves roundtables. Well, your roundtable is a PR exercise to make the problem go away. The problem ain't going away, Minister. Time to decide. Is your premier, is your government who's more interested in making bad headlines go away or bad problems go away? Minister, stand up and do the right thing. Call an inquiry. Mr. Speaker, I don't have to answer to uh, that honourable member for my comp care and compassion for children in this province. Every single person that I work with, every single person that I work with, and every single person in this legislature knows that I have put time and effort and, and passion into putting children first. I will continue to do that. I will take advice from the, the opposite yeah, yeah. member, even that member. I will take advice about improving the system, but I don't need him to yell at me. I need him to come and work collaboratively to make the system better.